In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a one-line if assignment in C++ to reduce the amount of code that you write. To make this clear, I'm personally not a fan of overly smart one-liners, which may actually make your code more complicated to read, especially for beginners. I really prefer simplicity over maybe showing off what I may be able to do with code. However, this specific one-line if assignment that we're going to see is really not that hard to use, is quite readable, and will help you get a much cleaner code. And so this is the code we're going to start with, okay, which contains a if that we're going to uh, modify here. So let me explain it very quickly. So here, what we want to do is we want to put a string. So we want to modify this string unit with either Celsius or Fahrenheit. So we ask the user, for example, to give us a number one or two. If it's one, we're going to put Celsius inside this string. If it's two or something else here, we're going to put Fahrenheit. And so with a standard if else structure, we do if choice is equal to one, we put Celsius else, or we could also put else if choice is equal to two, we put Fahrenheit. Well, this is quite a lot of line for just something that doesn't really bring any value to the code. This is very simple. And some people even prefer to write if else like this, okay, with the curly brackets on the new line. So this depends on the, on the convention you use. So basically here you see you have many lines for that. And this we can reduce in just one line. Okay, so to recap on that first, to make sure that you correctly understand when you can use the one line if, you have to have a situation where you want to assign a value to a variable. So basically you want to assign one value or another value depending on a condition. Okay, just one value or another value, just two different values depending on one condition. In that case, I'm going to write the one line if here. So I'm going to... Uh, just comment that. And I'm going to do unit is equal. So I'm first going to write it and then explain it. I'm going to put the condition here. Choice is equal to one. And then interrogation mark. And I'm going to put uh, Celsius. And then I'm going to put colon. And I'm going to put Fahrenheit. And semicolon. And this is going to do the same thing as this. So let me explain you very quickly. So first, what you do, you put uh, the variable you want to assign here on the left is equal to, okay? So you start with that. And then you put the condition with parentheses, the same you would put in the if, okay? So basically, if choice is equal to one, then you add interrogation mark, you're gonna put Celsius in that variable. And then you add a colon, which is a else, okay? So this is, if this is true, you put this. If this is false, so else, you put this value, okay? So if this is true, we use that one. Else, we use that one, as simple as that. So condition, interrogation mark, option one, colon, option two, semicolon. By using this, you will be able to reduce the amount of code and make it more readable, okay? This is actually a very, very specific use case but even if this is very specific, this is also quite common, okay? This is a quite common situation to encounter. So when you encounter this situation, you can use this. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step-by-step -step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.